Hello, it is a pleasure to always have you on board. Much appreciation for choosing the award-winning TV station Maisha Television Kenya. We've got a lot of stories for you in store. But just to remind you, the Kusa Awards 2024, it's here to vote for Maisha TV as your best TV station. Simply SMS the word Kusa to 15601. The SMS, it's absolutely free. My name is Mesh Msimbi. Alright, to begin the bulletin with an outrage from the tax experts in the country who have termed as retrogressive tax proposals contained in the Finance Bill 2024. Besides the motor vehicle circulation tax, which they claim will dent the country's motor vehicle insurance penetration, the experts are also opposed to the proposal to introduce a 16% VAT on financial services claiming that the move will return the country back to the era of mattress banking. The tax experts are also are also challenged the government to account for the already collected taxes before burdening Kenyans with new taxes as Bushebi Jr. explained. To a lot of future problems because you're having an asset which is like three four million is out there you do not have comprehensive cover. The moment you get involved in an accident you don't get compensated. What would that mean to Kenyans? You are making Kenyans even a lot more poorer. She tells you there's a lot of people with motor vehicles today that are either not using them, to ground them, or driving them without insurance. Because in my view, we should be looking to, because insurance plays two roles. There is protecting the vehicle owner, but even mandatory by law, they need, we need to protect the third parties from the actions of motorists. The, that tax is going to have a monumentous impact on motor insurance premium. Mm -hmm. And you know motor, as I said earlier, accounts for about 34% of all the, the premium that is written in this country on general insurance, on general insurances, 34%. Yeah. My view is that at the moment, there is people in Kenya who own cars who do not have even that, that particular. So, so I do not believe trying to tax at insurance point might help the government. I think there could be a more innovative way we could do this. And also we need to make tax affordable. Moving on, Rariada MP Otiende Amolo has strongly criticized the government move to present the 2024-2025 financial bill proposal. Higher taxes on the, some goods, emphasizing it is clear that President William Ruto has turned a blind eye to the plight of Kenyans during this period of rising living cost of living. Otiende stated that the opposition leaning MPs will do everything possible to ensure that the bill does not become law and even challenge it in court. The finance bill that is highly punitive, that is even taxing the purchase of a motor vehicle, even a motor vehicle for school is being taxed, even a motor vehicle for church is being taxed at 5%. You have brought a finance bill that is increasing taxation on everything else. And you are threatening and telling Kenyans that by the time you leave, you want to make sure you've improved the tax taxation burden from 8 and 9% to 22%. Which means you are not listening to the cry of Kenyans. You hold Kenyans in contempt. All right, away from that, let's have a look at political news. To the much-anticipated Limuru 3 conference took place on Friday, even as division continues to rock the meeting with a section of leaders pulling in different directions. Now, according to Mount Kenya Unity Forum principles, allied to Azimiola Umoja One Kenya Coalition, the Limuru 3 conference was used as a platform to spell out the region's political stance 
stand and future. They dismiss reports suggesting that the meeting will also be used to name the region's kingpin but to give Mount Kenya residents the platform to choose their political path and destination. The meeting brought together aspirants, religious leaders, businessmen, professionals and opinion leaders from 10 counties. Take a listen. Hii hatua ya kwanza tunaifurahia. Tunajua tutapiga zingine. Baada ya huu mkutano tutapaga mwingine mpaka kila watu kila mtu akuje ndani. Hatutakubali tena kuogea kila mtu akiogea na pale na ile. Rais Musavi hawako kwa haya maneno. Yeye mwenyewe alimaliza kazi yake alituongoza akatuambia vile tunatakana kufanya pale tunatakana kwenda. Sasa ni sisi wenyewe tuanze kusikia, tuone kama tutasikia saa hii na kitaka kuja wakati mwingine atakuja lakini kwa leo huu mkutano hako ndani yake hakuhusishwa na njia yote ile hii ni wa Kenya wenyewe walisema wanataka kuja pamoja wa Kenya kutoka kwa mlima wanataka kuja pamoja kwa sababu wanaona mwenendo haufai maisha yanaendelea kuwa magumu kila mtu hakuna mtu ambaye hajasikia uchungu wa serikali ambayo imeiko katika mamlaka mlima kume waka mlima mlima kume waka mlima Naruto anainama anainuka anaona faya anatoroka Thank you so much nyeje tako John kama udi kwenda kodhie muno Not we are the people We are the people We are the people We are the people well, to matters business, the country is close to resuming normal provision of internet services as engineers continue to repair the undersea cable cut last Sunday. The Communication Authority of Kenya says they are working with mobile network operators and internet service providers to keep the country connected through acquisition of additional capacity. Already, the country's largest telecom operator Safaricom has announced that it has assumed full network capacity. Our engineers are also very proud of them, giving them a shout out for the work they did. They were able to rebalance traffic now on the remaining cables and prioritize to ensure that uh, the country uh, kept connected. Uh, people could still make uh, voice calls, roaming calls, uh, affected sometimes when these things happen. So as much as we lost some significant capacity, uh, to be honest, 200 gigs, gigabytes we lost on the two cables, each carrying 100 uh, going down south. We had 400 gigabytes going up north. Within a day or two, we had actually brought us that now we are back to our high capacity of 600 gigabytes. People who perhaps had not made similar investments found themselves totally uh, lacking capacity. Well, some residents of Gesama area in Nyamira County have complained about the deterioration of health services and lack of medication at the Gesama sub-county hospital. Speaking at the hospital, residents said they are forced to seek essential health services and medication at private hospitals and pharmacies despite having a level 4 hospital in the area. Locals mentioned the some services previously available at the hospitals and now missing and there are no healthcare workers to attend to them. The county's health CEC Donald Mogoi confirmed some of the complaints raised by the residents stating that the county government plans to address these issues in the next financial year. Hospital ilikuwa na generator haifanyi. Ilikuwa na section ya surgery ilikufa. Hii Eh, facility ilikuwa na maali wanawake wanasalia sahaia kuna ilikuwa na ambulance William Ruto alirete mpaka hapa 2017 hii ambulance haifanyi ati kwamba hakuna mafuta sa mafuta hakuna dawa yote iko hapa hata moja sasa hiyo nilikuwa nimeshangaa nayo sana hospital hii nikiwa mdodo, mtoto mdogo nikiwa tulikuwa tunatibiwa wakati huo ilikuwa this side Currently, uh, I agree with the Wananchi that possibly the expectation that uh, that facility should uh, provide services at a level 4, uh, equivalent to what is provided at Nyamira. 
uh, might not be be uh, available or might not be uh, there currently but 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 as a government i think uh, we're cognizant of that we we've got very good plans or very clear plans on how that facility will eventually uh, get to that level or will eventually satisfy the the, the expectations of uh, the wananchi well, government leaders in Budalangi constituency, Busia County, have been urged to be vigilant in ensuring that the relief food for flood victims stored in the county's Bunyala sub-county headquarters warehouse is not being sold. Deputy Commissioner of Bunyala sub-county in Busia County, Paul Papa, expressed his sadness at the fact that this food is being sold or even disappearing from the warehouse, while thousands of internal Intended beneficiaries continue to suffer from hunger. kasi ya identification kuchagua nani yako na shida ma chiefs kwa kikamlifu sitaki kusikia kuna chief anacheza na hii chakula na hii chakula tena sio chakula ya biashara sio chakula ya kuusa sio chakula ya kutafuta maneno ingine ya fair fair hii ni chakula ya wan, watu wenye wako na shida na chakula yetu inapotea kwa njia saa nyingine hatuelewi Hata leo tumepeana chakula tum, ndio hizi zinatoka. Please. Hata nimesema mtu ofisi yangu akigawana tu hiyo chakula muniambie. Yes. Anakula mshahara. Tell me. Nitafuta yeye kazi. Na nataka kuambia ofisi yangu because tumeanza tunatengeneza boats. Wafanye haraka sana nataka boats ziende ziwe zinasaidia watoto kuvuka za emergency. Na ukiangalia kwamba tuko na mizigo sisi kama mfano tuko na watoto tumefelewa tuko na watoto karibu tisa kumi wako shuleni kile chakula ambacho tunategemea sisi kusomesha watoto wetu jicho ambacho hicho chakula kimeenda na maji tena tunakufia kupata na malaria hata tayari sasa hii watoto wengine wako ni wagonjwa wameaffectiwa na umbu Well, Parliament has raised the red flag over alleged massive graft in the issuance of capitation funds to junior secondary school JSS across the country. Though the Budget and Appropriations Committee Parliament noted that tens of fake schools has had benefited from the funds at the expense of registered schools. This comes in the wake of the ongoing industrial strike by teachers from JSS are calling for better remuneration and have paralyzed learning in the learning institutions. Staying in class for 30 days, for 20 days, teaching from morning to evening, only to earn 17,000 shillings. For two years, not even four months, for two years. Ah, this is a joke. The teachers ought to have been referred to as those on contract and then wait for a specific period of time for which they ought to have been automated as permanent and pensionable terms. This is where we missed it. <laughs> Na haki yetu ni kupatiwa kadarasi za kudumu. Na kisha baada ya hapo tulipwe pesa zetu. 
We've come to the end of Maisha Special Report. Much appreciation for choosing the award-winning TV station. My name is Mesh Msimbi. Just to remind you, the Kuza Awards 2024 is here. To vote for Maisha TV, simply SMS the word Kuza to 15601. The SMS, it's absolutely free. Until next time, have a fantastic weekend.